this is a conversation that I've been looking forward to because um, Heather is in my Master Heart um, business mentoring program and she has been um, responding really well to, to the situation that we're going through right now with the pandemic, lockdown, and economic downturn, et cetera. She's actually, um, well, let me first say hi to you, Heather. <laughs> Thanks hi. for being here. <laughs> yes, thank you. And um, Heather is an intuitive mentor and coach. Uh, she does healing and um, uh, she, she does amazing stuff for her clients and her students. And, um, you know, we were just talking about how a lot of people right now in these very challenging times are kind of contracting. They're shrinking their um, confidence, which understandably, because the world is going through the biggest economic downturn that I've seen in my own, my life. And so, of course, it makes sense that businesses are scared and that we're like, okay, let's hold on to the little that we have and, uh, you know, let's not take too many risks. But, you know, in the conversation with Heather, she has made March 2020, it's been the best month in her business financially in a long time or maybe even ever. So Heather has a way of rebelling against <laughs> what, you know, maybe the what's in the air is like fear and doubt and hesitation and smallness. And she says, no, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to allow that to make me small. I'm going to shine uh, the way that I'm called to shine. So Heather, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to thank you for, um, for being here. And so maybe you can start by sharing what you noticed was kind of in the air. What was the general malaise or feeling that you were seeing on social media and just your among your friends and colleagues and people in the world yeah so there, it was it was too it was two-sided and it's still two-sided um the first thing i noticed immediately everybody fear-based let's go panic and buy everything we can buy including stuff you'll probably never use in your lifetime not even during a pandemic um but then there was the flip side of the other folks who were kind of like i'm not afraid i'm not in fear like should i be in fear and i'm sitting back going no <laughs> like don't don't buy into what you're being sold and i got a lot of flack for that because people are like oh but i'm supposed to be in fear and like these are fearful times and like fear is a state of mind and i've been there i know what fear is like i've experienced fear in so many different ways. I mean, I was financially, in addition to spiritually and emotionally and mentally bankrupt when I was 25. So I know what it's like to have nothing and no income and not sure where your next can of beans and bag of rice is gonna come from, right? Like, I understand that in, in a very deep way. And so when I started to see these patterns and, and this fear and, and, and I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do? What, how are you going to choose now to show up? And I made the decision. I'd have to look because I track this stuff, but it was probably around March 10th or 11th when I said, I am declaring that this is going to be my biggest and best income earning month. I am not going down the rabbit hole with people who are caving. And I'm going to keep showing up and doing what I do. And the people who want what I have are going to show up. They're going to find a way to be in this with me. And March 31st came and I looked at what I had done and I was kind of overwhelmed. Um, I cried <laughs> um, because it's really hard as well to celebrate success when other people can't hold space for that right now yeah wow wow um it's such an empowering uh example that you've you've just you know been sharing with us and living through yourself so <clears throat> so for those who are well a, a couple of questions for you um huh. there's so many so what did you do differently in, in, in so you, you mentioned that what you did differently than what you see people doing out there is you made a decision and you, well, you recognized 
what you were experiencing emotionally mm -hmm. and you've, you've seen it before yep. and you say, are you going to make a decision to say, well, I don't have to wallow in that or yeah. I don't have to kind of amplify that. Yep. I can do something different. Was there any, I guess, practice or something you did that kept you every day? Because every day you mm. go back on social media and there's more doom and gloom or yep. news or, you know, just people around talking about, oh my God, you know, now this place is locked down and now this and the stock market and now this, you know, the, the numbers every single day. I, I, when I go on Twitter, it's like, or in the news, like they just report higher numbers. They don't, they don't ever give, put it in context. They just say, now there's more. <laughs> it's like, oh God. Yeah. You know? yeah. So what, what, what's, what's maybe, and I'm sure there's a lot that you've already integrated as a daily practice, but anything that comes to mind that, that can help be helpful for those who are watching? I think the biggest, number one, my, my saving grace, and I say this to people all the time, my number one thing, which probably took me about four years to really get, was having a gratitude practice. And I say this over and over and over and over again, that you have to have a written gratitude practice. Um, and there's, there's that, that energy of, well, you know, I just, I give thanks in my head and, you know, I'm a thankful person and this, and I'm like, you have to get it on paper. And the reason why I say that is because it changes the experience of it. And I remember in my darkest days and even days now that may not be so dark, but are just kind of off or not so great. And I can't find anything to be grateful for. I'll start thinking about, okay, I'm grateful that I can write with a pen. I'm grateful that I can turn a light switch on and the power comes on. Like, and then it kind of gets you into the flow of appreciating and acknowledging everything around you. And so that's, that's the biggest number one thing I tell people. The other thing I tell people is as soon as we start getting into this energy or this mindset of lack, like you said, looking at the numbers that are going up when we want them to go in the other direction. In this yeah, and we're, we're talking about situation. You know, illness. Yes. It's, you know, the illness pandemic numbers are going up. Yes. Right? Yeah. And the numbers that we want going up are, are going, going down. down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, watching, watching investments. Tank, and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, okay, so let's just freeze everything for now. Let's not move anything. Let's not take any drastic steps, but let's take an inventory of what we actually have available. What do we have available in the house right now? Whether it's food or toiletries or health, like what do we actually need right now here presently in this moment? And if people would stop and look around, they might realize that they have quite a bit to work with. And I understand that it is so much different for people who are paycheck to paycheck. I, I understand that. But for the majority of most of the people that are going out and panicking and able to drop $500 all of a sudden on stockpiling, whatever, chances are they probably had a lot to work with to begin with. So again, like the logic behind a lot of decision, I was like, just like, take a beat, right? Like, <laughs> pause and, and look around, look around. And so those are the two things I sat and did very consciously and intentionally. Um, and the other thing <laughs> was I originally was afraid to start sharing my slightly opposing views on how people were responding. And I had to make, again, a decision. Am I going to just, you know, slink back and just watch it all unfold and eat the popcorn as I like to tell people I do sometimes or am I going to start chiming in with the energy that I'm bringing to the situation that I think is positive and light and that is true to me and in a lot of ways it was humorous in a lot of ways it was the truth and I had to say you know what in six months whoever's still with me they're a lifer they're probably not going to go anywhere and so if they can't be with me now necessarily financially as a client, they're still going to get some sort of value out of what I'm bringing to the table now. And then when they're able to, they'll sign up. I, yeah. I know that without a shadow of a doubt, I know that in my heart of hearts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the, I guess the little bit of good news that's coming through is that governments are sending out stimulus checks 
yep. I mean, United States, Canada, UK, yep. Australia. I mean, all governments are, of course, trying to get the economy going again. Yep. So Absolutely. most citizens um, worldwide, are, you know, India too, are going to be getting something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> to help to help with the situation. So, um, so you know, I one of the things I found myself saying recently is unstable times need stable people. Mm. <laughs> right. And I have seen your stability and your consistency mm. where I could see you, which is on Facebook, your postings mm. and your offerings yeah. and things like that. And you've continued to be consistent. And in fact, maybe you've even, I don't know. You've, so, so let me ask you this. What have you done action wise in your business during the month of March, during the height, well, not height, but I guess the beginning of the height of this stuff. What, what, what did you do differently or the same? So I want to say that I probably did 99% of the same of what I've always done. I didn't make any drastic changes. I didn't start giving away all kinds of stuff for free. I didn't do that. On the 30th, 30th and 31st, I realized that of March, I realized that I wanted to do a little bit of restructuring anyway. And I, this, this energy has been kind of with me for a, some time. This isn't a new thing. And because I'm intuitive and because I pay attention, like spirit is my boss is what I tell people, right? And all of a sudden, you know, spirit shows up in my head on the 31st and says, this is what you're going to do and you're going to do it right now. And so from about two o'clock in the afternoon on the 31st, which I don't normally work afternoons, I'm, I'm tapped out by the time the afternoon rolls around because I'm an early bird. Um, you know, hubby was off doing his thing and I said, I gotta go, I gotta do some things, I'll be back. Okay, have fun, right? And I get up to my office and I reached out to every single person that I already have been seeing in a class or a one-on-one situation or whatever. And I gave them a couple of options and I said, listen, I'm planning on restructuring. I'm not offering this particular service anymore. Um, This particular service I'm offering to you to stay in for the rest of the year on a pay what you can or pay from the heart model. And then you're done for the year. He said, there's no shame in if it's $5 or 50, it's your decision and you're in for the year. Um, I had other people that are kind of on a, a monthly service with me for those, a couple of different options. And I kind of based, I essentially said the same thing to them. I said, if you want to pay in full as of this amount or whatever, this is what it typically is, but this is the offer I'm giving to you. And this is literally a today only offer because after today, I don't know what the rest of the next few months is going to look like because I'm going to go into a restructuring and a, and a rejuvenating, not only from a business, but from myself as well. And every single person I reached out to was like, that's so generous. Are you sure? I said, I am extra sure because I want to nurture and kind of like love on people a little bit extra who have been with me consistently for the last couple of years. I'm not necessarily interested in, you know, calling in that cold audience right now and having to do extra work to build the trust and all of, all of this. I would rather work with the people who are already familiar with my work. And I know that that's a totally different slant from, but you have to do both. It's like, you know what, right now I'm going to work with these people because they're already familiar with me because I get fueled that way too. When I see them light up or I see them excited about something. Yes. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a really creative way to um, really be generous and um, you know, be, yeah, offer something that's really relevant for these times. And I, I think the kind of support that you give to your clients is, you know, the kind of support they need, especially right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so actually tell us about this. What, what kind of, what kind of programs are you offering? And I know you're going through the restructuring, <laughs> but what do you imagine <laughs> But you know, that, that you're, that people can, if they, if someone says, Hey, you know what, I want to work with Heather. Mm-hmm. What's the, what's your, what, what's the next step or what are the options? So, so basically I, I I'm, I'm already plan I'm already seeing 2021, which might sound absolutely so foreign to people right now. They're like, Heather, like really? <laughs> Is this an April Fool's joke? No, no, it's not. <laughs> um, I have right now. I have two um, membership groups that are 
uh, essentially closed at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is called my mud club. And that particular group is a group of people who every day, day in and day out, it's an intentional mindset shift focus in that you're going to quote unquote rock your mud in which you and I have spoken about before is, you know, there can be no Lotus without the mud that it grows in first. Right. And and so it's about taking that all of that stuff of your life and every day, again, day in and day out, working with your mindset and setting yourself up for success in the first, you know, half hour of your day, ideally. So that's the one membership option that is currently closed, but will be coming fresh, brand new January, 2020. I'm positive. I know that won't go away because if I make it go away, my current members will be so upset with me. <laughs> And then the second one I started actually in the middle of March is a energy healing slash channeled message group. And what I do is I go on uh, every Wednesday of each week in a month and I do about 20 to 30 minutes of a channeled um, reading from spirit. And I also do an energy healing and clearing for the group. So for the people that are there and the video of course is saved and kept for whoever has paid to be in there that particular month. And so that is currently open and active. And uh, April, April obviously is closed because it's the start of the month already. So the first message has been delivered. Um, but March, sorry, let's not go backwards in time, Heather. Uh, going forward in May, that that is active. Um, and then ultimately there will be, you know, classes and one-on-one -on -one work and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, for the time being, I'm, I'm accepting people who want to, you know, be on a newsletter or anything like that to stay, you know, in touch with me or see what's coming down the pipe. I'm pretty good with keeping people informed as to what to expect and what's going on. Um, but I made the decision as well to not launch a class this month. I was going to be doing a, my manifesting um, and conscious creation class this month and I opted to actually give it to my mud club members for free as part of an extra gift and bonus to them um, to boost where their energy is at and their focus is at. But my core classes eventually will be on a on a cycle and because I know we're going to come out of this. We're going to come out of this stronger than we are now, right? Like, yeah, as, I just, as, I know that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like as, as long as there are human beings who want to improve themselves, yeah. uh, the economy always bounces back because that's what Absolutely. the economy is. You know, it's human yeah. beings improving themselves and being yeah. in connection with each other. So um, if people wanted to work with you one-to-one, -one, do you have that offering as well? I do. So um, I am pretty solid right now for packages, probably until about June or July. Um, but I can do, you know, one on one, I guess, one off emergency sessions if somebody really wants kind of a pick me up or a boost or something like that. Uh, just reach out to me and see what's available. I've taken my calendar offline as well. So I'd rather people reach out to me directly. Um, and this is just a temporary pause, right? Um, because I need to know where I'm at right now on a day to day productivity level as well, because I have to do work in the background and, and serve who was already with me. But yeah, reaching out directly is best, but there are one-on-one -on -one options available. Awesome. Awesome. So I'll be sure to put the, the links, whatever links we need to put in, yep. in the description of the video will be yep. there. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Heather. Anything else you want to share? Uh, words of encouragement mm -hmm. as we complete this conversation? Yeah, I just, um, I want, I think I, the biggest thing is I want people to be cognizant of the information that they're taking in. Yeah. is not noise and to really allow yourself to take time for silence and silent retreat even if you have children in your house and need to lock yourself in the bathroom for a few minutes extra in a day we need that little bit of peace and to just trust your inner knowing trust deeply trust your inner knowing because we all have it and it's there it's there to be heard and it's there to be listened to and just mostly be as loving and as kind as possible to each other. Awesome. Thank you so much, Heather. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you so much, George. Thanks.